funny, um, I was listening to El feeling like, and when he spoke about feeling like sometimes the, the African American community does not come together as a whole when something happens to the African American gay community. I sat in my chair and I said, okay, I know that I'm supposed to speak what I'm about to speak because that subject is very, very important to me. So, I say all that to say that it truly amazes me and totally blazes me that I'm only black if I'm not gay. I know some people might say that I'm overreacting, extracting what I believe to be truth. But there's no use in trying to convince people how feeble that we are not on the same level. So I bury that with my shovel of reality. And if you understand my point when you follow me, if not, you can stop listening right now. Now I could bury you with statistics and I may do that in a minute, but first, let me bear my soul. Now I do not confess to be some afro ram feminist, lesbian, sporting peace signs while standing high on my podium following my point of view. And please do not get offended as if I'm talking about you, I'm just saying what I am not as I plant my anger seeds into a pot of conviction as I'm guided by the admission that I'm only black if I'm not gay. And I know some people might say we as a race have to fight to stick together. We have to march through whatever challenges we face. Band together as victims of race and struggle. We have the numbers of racial profiling as double as the man has kept us down. So gather around the burning cross that still lights tonight. Listen as we hear each latest plight. One attack after another. Believe me, my heart bleeds for my brothers and my sisters. But I would be remiss if I did not count my entire community. So I take it that the murder of key gun should not have mattered to me. Because I don't remember too many people marching. I remember people marking out reasons why it was okay. Talking about how she was out late that day. And she had no regard for her safety. The other thing that really got me was that they seemingly excused the attack of talking about maybe after this is over, more of them will learn. You tell me how many more of us have to get burned. I don't mean to sound mean, but do you realize that when others have died, they came together at their side. So it's my right that I believe that I'm only black if I'm not gay. And I don't care if you get mad because I'm going to go on anyway. Remember that time we were focused on Genesis 6? And I'm not saying that's not important. But what about our other youth that were rotting away whose only crime was just being gay? See, this, this, this right here didn't just happen yesterday. Remember the story of the newer girls whose tale was told to the world? Portrayed as a gang. I'm sorry. Wolf pack to be exact. Hmm. And if you don't believe it, then check your facts, at least the New York Post archives. Believe me, I do not lie when I speak of getting vapors when I picked up the paper and it read that aggressive women wanted to be men. Or how we tend to think that our women are nothing but property. And the other thing that really got me is when every time someone is injured, they paint the picture with their sexuality first. You could almost see the rainbow when a hearse that drives by. Do you have the heart to tell me that you think we should die because of who we are by far? I believe I'm only black if I'm not gay. And I know that someone's going to say that's not the case. That we are under one umbrella within this human race. But statistics do not lie. Do a search of homosexual hate crimes resulting in death. Or look up orientation discrimination and do not rest until you've read every entry. I know that may sound elementary, but I'm speaking to the one that's waiting to attack. In fact, I guarantee that I will experience some ignorance once this is read. But do not approach me instead. Write your community leader, or your preacher, or your local teacher. If you want me to be wrong, start a petition of my law to lay on their desk. Yes, hide it in the chorus of a famous rhyme. Yes, put it on a song and have it downloaded a million times. Yes, spread the word, we now I'm in the saying blacks don't support gays. And prove that I am wrong in spite of what I may say. Start a revolution speaking out against me. And it does not matter what your orientation may be, because all revolutionaries are included. Go meet secretly in the building plotting to show that I am misinformed. Do whatever it takes to show the nation that this is about unification and not about me. But until that time, I remain free to state my case in spite of what anybody may say. Did I believe that I'm only black if I am not gay? Thank you. Thank you.